Hi, so I'm coming on here today, <clears throat> full disclosure, I guess you could say. Um, so for those of you who've been following me for a while, um, clearly, especially lately, you know that I talk an awful lot about essential oils, you know, revolutionary aromatherapy, and um, my passion for oils. But the fact is, is that nothing is the answer to everything. Okay, there's no be all end all. And I, I mean, even though I do tout them as um, adjunctive therapies, there's more to it. Okay, so um, yesterday I posted um, some pictures of me going in for some MRIs <clears throat> as a follow up to breast cancer. Um, today I had to, so this is for those of you that aren't aware. So back in December of 2019, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, skin cancer, full body arthritis. I've got arthritis from the, from the top of my spine to the bottom of my spine. It's in my, it's everywhere. Um, and then on top of all of that, I had to have a metal plate put in my foot in um, August of last year. Finally, we were able to get it in with that with the uh, the 2020 bug. Um, but anyway, got it in and um, ran into some issues with it. Um, it was never the the swelling never went down. So no, bottom line is, I went in to see the podiatrist today as a follow-up to the surgery and just to kind of have him take a look at this and the bone set fine the plates in place um, it didn't break all the screws are in place so the only issue that we can see is there's a lot of granulation in the tissue in one area that's causing the whole thing to be puffy still tender he did do an incision to see if there was a cyst in there that was leaking you know that he could actually drain you know um and there was nothing it's just a lot of granulated tissue the mri um lists me as high risk and um there is now yet another development in what appears to be in the left chest muscle i don't know but another type of tumor so bottom line to all of this is that there's a lot of abnormal growth happening in my body um i do use oils i use oils like probably nobody else does um they are my go-to for everything if i'm writing and i'm beginning to kind of get not foggy headed but just like overwhelmed with thinking and I want to feel more grounded I'll use them for that I get them up I use them every single morning just to kind of acclimate me to the day I use them for my digestive system I mean I use them all the time um, and one of the things that that I've finally accepted is a call to um, so how do I say this so I tell you all of that because there's more to health issues than um, what medical treatment we're doing. And even though I evolved my work with oils to revolve around, you know, more of a holistic working with the entire system, it's not enough. And one of the things that I determined years ago was my lesson in this life is unconditional love and although I can speak it and I say I have it for others I still keep finding myself in a lot of um, judgment really working hard to let go of it though um, one of the biggest issues that another issue I've had over the years is this distinction between our, our light side like you know um, high vibe self versus you know our shadow self and I've never been able to come to grips with shaming my shadow self I, there's already enough shame in my shadow side to choke a horse I don't need to tell that shadow side that you don't belong here and so it, I've really wrestled with all of this and then um, a few years back I was introduced to um, forgiveness work and and still through forgiveness work, I was approaching it from the concept of 
it almost felt, it still felt like a judgment. Well, I'll forgive you for doing this and I'll forgive you for saying that. And so there's still judgment in that and I cannot wrap myself around that. And then when I was diagnosed with the cancer, I did come forward. I don't know if anybody ever saw those videos. It was on YouTube um, where I was talking about, I wasn't a candidate for it. It doesn't run in my family. I've lived the lifestyle that everybody talks about, right? You know, clean to the best of my ability, physically active. So here again, are all of these things that we keep hearing are good for our health, our physical health, our mental health. And a distinction that I was able to make again earlier um, in the, uh, the last few months was really, it's not about the mind-body connection. It really is about the DNA, um, the mind-DNA connection. And I know that sounds very strange, but when I say mind, I'm not talking about our thinking brain. I'm talking about a level of consciousness, a level of awareness. Um, and so I've ever since, and that actually came about when um, somebody suggested that I do a book on um, using oils with regards to like the blood type diet. And so when I looked at the blood types, I discovered that blood types are in fact really very similar to an allergy to the environment. It's, it's an immune reaction to the environment. So it's a protection mechanism. So that's what a blood type actually does. It's a protection mechanism. This is the reason why you can't mix you know, A-type blood with B-type blood because there's different antigens in the body. And so the um, A-type has antibodies against the B-type. Okay, so it's very much a protection mechanism. And of course, we can definitely eat according to our blood type, but then even that hasn't worked for me um, because I still developed these health issues. Um, oh, and by the way, when I talk about all this development of, of growth, okay, I also happen to have paranormal cysts. So the, the growth that we've discovered in my left chest muscle, um, that's a rarity and then I have paranormal cysts in my cervical spine which is also a rarity so and like the podiatrist said to me even when he saw my foot he's never seen that before it's a rarity so I'm not proud of this level of uniqueness but I'm using it to employ really employ unconditional love and so when I was given my diagnosis a few a couple of years back or a year and a half ago um, I spoke about anger and I can talk about anger today but the thing is is I don't want to be I don't want to be mad at myself I don't want to feel ashamed of myself that's the reason why I posted what I did earlier today um, with regards to the meltdown I had yesterday it was anger related it was and of course at first I could have directed it at somebody but the bottom line is it had nothing to do with anybody other than just feeling alone isolated and separate even though I was in a room full of people you know I don't know if the mask thing is bringing that up I don't know but what I can tell you is that I have resisted this degree of um, it's the reason why again a, a, I think it was last week that I posted, somebody said I shouldn't tell people that this work is, is spiritually based when in fact our true essence is, our true nature is in fact love. And so I, that's the reason why I'm introducing the alchemy of healing because it's really about the introduction of love, not romantic love, not passionate love, but genuine love, being able to transmute that anger be able to understand, like when I felt that anger yesterday, it did take some work. You know, it, it took some effort to actually get to the point of like, I was just feeling, I wasn't feeling love. And it's not anybody else's job to love me. It's my job to love me. It's my job to remain connected to my true nature. And then when you, I'm in that space of connection, then it's easy okay so when we talk about emotions um, fueling health issues it's not from blame judgment guilt or shame that's not what this is about this is a you know emotions really are key factors in re 
establishing a strong relationship with ourselves. They are, they are important. They're friends. They're actually friends that will help us get back to our true nature. It is very difficult to love ourselves as we are given everything we've ever experienced in our world. Again, this isn't about blaming anyone or anything about our upbringing and our childhood or anything like that. It's just the interpretations and the interpretations come from what's being modeled from it's being passed on from generation to generation unknowingly it's not it's not malicious it's not it's, it's, there's nothing wrong or bad about it it's simply the way we've existed the way we've survived thousands of years yet the time has come that if we want to begin to shift this degeneration and health issues really coming to terms with this love and allowing these emotions to redirect us into love and becoming friends with ourselves most importantly because at that point when we genuinely love ourselves we can we can harness this ability of ours to recover to heal and to um good lord who knows what's possible after that i don't want to begin to speculate so the forgiveness part is very very important because forgiveness isn't about judgment so yesterday it was really um, um, it meant a lot to me to be able to sit back and reflect and begin to forgive the separation, forgive, just forgive the illusion of the separateness. The illusion was I just cut myself off. You know, I, this, I was not separated from anybody. The other day, um, and I probably should share it, in, I did share it in my story, but maybe I should just share it as a post. Um, I've, I feel like I've been in the winter of my life at this point, not, and I mean, met, mean that metaphorically, for the last few years. It's really, it's, our, it's the cycle of my life and just really going inward and really becoming clear about who and what I am and what, you know, what can I offer? What, what meaningful change can I bring to the world? Yeah, the oils do matter. The oils are pro profoundly effective <laughs> when we infuse them with the energy of love. That's the alchemy of healing. When we can infuse the energy of love into our use of oils, good God, I just, what's possible because at that point we are completely connected with the essence of nature, completely. I can't emphasize that enough. So when we get into that space of, cause when, oh, anyways, I was saying, so when I went the other day and I was in this space of like, I'm just, I'm, I'm befuddled, I'm frustrated, nothing's working for me. What is this all about? And being willing to take the time in the space. And I went and I sat up along the mountain, um, via um, caldera, which is this mouth of a volcano. A very large volcano and I'll, like I said I'll share it in a post so you guys can check it out um, but the fact is is that when I was up there you know this is why I love the mountains at one point in my life a few years back I was actually asked what I prefer to be by the ocean or, or in the mountains and while I as much as I love the ocean being in the mountains gives me this when I can get up high at a higher altitude and this caldera is at 11,000 feet, you begin to realize that you are a part of something that there's, you're not separate. You're completely a part of this world. Not the master of this world, you're a master of your world, but we are completely apart and connected to everything. It's just, it's breathtaking when you get to that moment of awe and 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 so when I saw that I was able to yesterday really underscore this forgiveness of separation and when I allowed myself to feel connected I was I was able to face myself around these people today and no shame I held my head up high I was confident in who I am and it was just an entirely different experience. So I offer this to you. Again, it's the alchemy of healing and I have a two and a half hour masterclass where we're gonna dive into a lot of things and, um, and help you come out the other side, being able to implement 
a lot of what I'm saying here, especially as it applies to you. Okay, so, but I really wanted to share from my heart, I, it, this has been a very difficult thing because I have resisted this. I've been feeling this for a long time. I've dabbled in it. I've kind of talked about it and then I back off. And the bottom line is that this is a true component of healing. And as I said, when we can infuse the energy of love into our use of essential oils, the sky's the limit, man. It is, anything is possible because the body at that point is totally capable of pulling you out of the darkness and upholding your ability to make a difference in your way in this world. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for watching this and um, I love you. I love you and I appreciate being a part of your life. I will talk to you later.